Hey guys, welcome to the construction site on Wednesday. It's uh, the end of the day now, I wasn't filming very much, but I wanted to give you a quick update today because I won't be here tomorrow and the day after. And all of this could disappear. So, uh, the guys started today uh, gluing on this uh, white styrofoam. Uh, we are, I thought I ordered the gray one, but there was a bit of confusion and they delivered the white one, which is uh, the UW value is like 0 0.040. This one is 0 0.031, which means it's uh, one fourth better than this or, or so. But yeah, you know, time is of the essence and I didn't want to make too much fuss about it. So in the end, I agreed to grab this one and just go ahead and finish up the thermal yeah because it's better better done than perfect and also we've got XPS behind it which is I think 0035 or 0036 somewhere around there so it's not that bad really and all the calculations we did on the house was for white styrofoam but the gray one is not that much more expensive so we just went with a bit better um, yeah so they're putting those little plugs in you can see on the house uh, the guys are off to eat some lunch now or dinner it's four o'clock they've been putting up these uh, pins that we talked about this white styrofoam and another thing that we're doing today is we got some we got some uh, water resistant OSB. We're making some end walls for the roof over here out of OSB. This is so that, uh, as you can see, this is basically a box fill. It's going to get, it's going to get filled with uh, rock wool. This, uh, this uh, isolating material. And it serves a purpose that, and the purpose is that we uh, we didn't uh, thermally isolate the concrete that is on the ends over here uh, because I was expect like we made the concrete shorter and we made it too short. It's my fault. And uh, when we were doing the thermal isolation for the roof, we put a piece of uh, rock wool on the end, if you remember. We put a piece of rock wool on the end and below this is just uh, concrete covered with uh, tar paper and we're going to have the black styrofoam come up all the way over here we're going to cap it up and get some uh, metal sheathing and finish it off for uh, waterproofing but inside this box we're going to fill this up with uh, rock wool so that this concrete over here gets uh, isolated and then it will all be to all be warm and also on the other end we're going to do the same thing i put a piece of tar paper here just so the water wouldn't fall off the edge but there i directed it towards the uh, the downspout if we can call it that and on this side we're going to do a, a box also the same way as over there but it's much easier because there's no drop so we're going to fill it up and it's going to act a little bit as a reinforcement for the end of the roof if something were to if something were to roll over it's going to stop it also the water that's going to come over here it will all go directly to the downspout but we will have some railings at the end so people don't drop off the edge there's a drunk party or something i don't know but it's like you know safety so we're gonna have some railings but we're also going to have those end pieces just for just for that and you can see over here it's almost done one piece left up there a few pieces left up there and it's all going to be covered in styrofoam